In 2000, Tiger Woods was on the verge of golf history. With eight victories, including three majors, Tiger arrived at the Bell Canadian Open, looking to add to his historical season. New Zealander Grant Waite was all that stood in his way. Well, I've done my job. Let's see what he can do. What he did amazed the world. That one shot I did hit a candle was, was pretty good. Mind-boggling. It was the greatest golf shot I've ever seen in my life. Welcome to this edition of PGA Tour Classic, the 2000 Bell Canadian Open. Many consider what Tiger Woods accomplished in 2000 one of the finest performances in the history of the game. He set or tied 27 PGA Tour scoring records and won three consecutive major championships to become only the fifth player to earn the career Grand Slam. With eight wins to his credit entering the Bell Canadian Open, Woods was trying to join Lee Trevino as the only players to win all three national titles, the U.S., British, and Canadian Open in one season. Grant Waite, the 1993 Kemper Open champion, finished in second a week earlier at the Air Canada Championship. He learned from that experience and looked to improve upon it in Toronto. Next time I get into a tournament, say, look, even when the heat's on and I need to make some birdies, I can do it. And, and that's important in the building process of any player. It's the 2000 Bell Canadian Open, a PGA Tour Classic. <music> Niagara Falls, one of North America's most scenic spots, where the United States and Canada meet. Glen Abbey Golf Course, where the best of the PGA Tour meet to earn Canada's national title. Glen Abbey is located in Oakville, Ontario, just outside of Toronto, and has hosted the 96-year-old event since 1977. At Glen Abbey, I always felt that if I, if I drove the ball well and I was hitting it solidly, I could reach just about all the par fives and two. And that's a huge advantage, I think, um, for any professional player. Byron Nelson won his last of 11 in a row in Canada. Sam Snead captured this title three times. Arnold Palmer was victorious the first time he played north of the border in 55. And Lee Trevino is the only player to win all three national titles in the same year. Amazingly, Jack Nicklaus, who won 73 PGA Tour events in his career and redesigned this Glen Abbey course, came so close on so many occasions. Seven times the Golden Bear was a runner-up. Now Tiger Woods makes his third appearance at the Bell Canadian Open. Eight wins in 99 and eight so far in 2000. Is there something for him to prove this week? The only cut he's ever missed was at the Bell Canadian Open at Royal Montreal. Woods got off to a great start, a birdie at the second. After a birdie at the fifth got him to two under, Woods demonstrated he can do more than hit the ball long, displaying a terrific short game. We uh, checked with some folks here locally, asked them how well they knew Tiger Woods. Here's what they had to say. Um, baseball? Yeah, he's a good golf player guy, right? No, no, I don't know. Mm, definitely he's a golfer. He's a great golfer. Yeah. Number one in the world. Oh, you mean the tiger, the, the golfer man? Oh, yeah, the, yeah, I know him. Of course, he doesn't know Tiger Woods, you know? He's the guy that's just won some competition in America. He's a uh, number one ranked golfer in the world right now. And uh, he is coming to Glen Abbey this weekend. Three under through eight, Woods was rolling. But an uncharacteristic oh. bogey at the ninth gave Woods a 33 on the outward half. Playing the back nine first on Thursday, Sergio Garcia's approach at the par 312. Here, right, go. 
There's a beautiful Look at this. Look out. The young Spaniard made a name for himself at the 99 PGA Championship, chasing Tiger to the wire. Perhaps it'll be Tiger doing the chasing this week. A five under round of 67 for El Nino. Sweden's Jesper Parnevik in trouble at the first. Oh, hello. That's well, well played right there. Oh. <laughs> After a brilliant par save, Parnevik revved up his engines. A two time winner already in 2000, Parnevik finished the day strong with an opening 67. Brian Watts felt at home here. There was good reason. The 34 year old was born in Montreal in 1966. He too fashioned a 67 on day one. But the low round of the day went to Kevin Sutherland. Sutherland entered at the last minute after his wife gave birth to their first child 10 days earlier. Second year tour player Cameron Beckman 66 puts him alone in second. The North Country faithful came out in record numbers to see the world's number one player. On Friday, Tiger didn't disappoint. Following a 72 on Thursday, Wood started on the back nine with a birdie at 12. He then got the two under with a birdie at 15. This golf course is made, tailor made for my type of game. Um, guys who hit the ball high off the tee and high into the green, um, those are the guys who generally do well here. And, you know, I, I played well in 96 and my game has improved since then and you know, hopefully it, I can play well again you know, here in, in 2000. Two under through the first five holes. Tigers run continued at the par 5 16. Oh, look at this. How about this? Uh oh. Here we go boy. That for eagle. Even when bunkered off the tee at the par 4 17th. Tiger was unfazed. 172 yards with a six iron. He likes it. Oh, man. Oh, what a golf shot. And so do I. Excuse me. Roger, that's that tremendous because that, I, I don't know if I could have even gotten it over the lip. After a huge drive at the 508 yard par 518, Tiger was left with just a sand wedge in his hands. This is just left of the flag. Spin back. Hello, folks. How do you like this? Birdie, eagle, birdie. Six footer for an eagle again. His second eagle in two holes. That would be Eagle three at 18, a two at 15, a three at 16, a three at 17, and a three at 18. Wood seven under 65 moved him onto the second day leaderboard. Glen Abbey saw the changing of the guard in 1984 as 44 year old Jack Nicholas was challenged by a young 29 year old Australian who had quickly made a name for himself on the PGA Tour, Greg Norman. Norman, who had won his first tour event at the Kemper Open and finished a runner up in the U.S. Open earlier in the year, defeated the Golden Bear by two. A warm reception from the Canadian faithful greeted the world's number one on Saturday. And he didn't disappoint. At the 11th, the 452 yard par four. This putt for birdie and a share of the lead at 11 under. Toughest pin to get to. And the walk, and it was early, and Tiger Woods four under on his round today and a share of the lead at 11 under. Now, at the 15th, Stephen Ames for the birdie chip. It's fairly straight putt. It should come a little right to left towards the end, though. Oh, oh Stephen Ames, the birdie, and he's got the lead at 12 under. And the Canadians love him, Roger. Oh, he's the adopted son. The Trinidad native, who made his home in Calgary due to visa problems, has charged up the Canadian crowd. It's to get to the lead at 13 under. Yes. Oh, yes. Beautiful putt. So what a day Ames is having. Back at 13, second round leader Grant Waite just a week earlier had finished as a runner up in Vancouver. Well, this guy's been on a roll. Seven straight rounds in the 60s. 
his round yesterday included eight birdies and an eagle. That's uh, how about that shot there, Charlie? That's some kind of good golf shot there. That's a four iron, Bruce. Now Tiger Woods. Well, Roger, he's just a little past flag high here, and you know he's got the kind of putt that he's going to have to feed out to the right of the holes. You know, right in that five, six inch range. But well, I can tell you what, this is this is more than makeable. Tiger Woods, the birdie at 15 and a share of the lead at 13 under. He's already won the U.S. and British. Trevino is the only man to win the U.S., British, and Canadian in the same year. Co-leader Stephen Ames, however, wasn't going to let history get in the way of his stellar performance. Oh, look at this. Ames. Huh? Yeah. And Stephen Ames goes to 14 under with the birdie at 17. Grant Waite, with two birdies and two bogeys on the front, has been patient. At even par for the round, this for Eagle. Well, this to get him to 13 under and one shot off the lead. And Eagle for the Kiwi. Over to Tigers second at the par 5 16. Tough hole location, too, Billy. Yeah. I don't know if he can get it there, Bruce. Boy, it looked like he nailed it. I take that back. Do you take that back? <laughs> I don't believe that shot. Billy. <laughs> I tell you what, guys, you ought to be down here watching it. Tell me how many men can hit that shot, Billy. I think you're looking at That's it. That's the only guy I know that can do it. This for Eagle to put an exclamation point on another magnificent golf shot. Is there any doubt 15 under and the outright lead at the 18th third shot for J.L. Lewis It's going to try to carry it just on the edge of the green Roger let it sort of peel down from left to right towards that flag fairly quick three shots off the lead oh, it looks good come on come on Got it. <laughs> J.L. Lewis Eagle at 18. And that'll get him to 14 under and one back of our leader Tiger Woods. Everybody's stepping it up. Yeah, they better. Now Grant Waite for Eagle at 16. And Bruce, this putt's got everything in it. It's got left in it, it's got right in it. It's downhill, flat, uphill, and then downhill at the hole. That's very well done. Oh, man. Well, we saw it all, as you said. Beautiful putt. That got Waite to 14 under. Meanwhile, Woods had his troubles at 18 after leaving his third shot in the bunker. Woods only managed par, but a marvelous round of 64 puts Tiger in the clubhouse lead 15 under. That's a bad sign for the rest of the field. Tiger has 20 victories and one defeat when leading after three rounds. But one back, two holes left to play. Second round leader Grant Waite is capable of catching him. A birdie at 17 tied him with Tiger who's at the 18th green with Billy Kratzer. How low do you think you're going to have to go tomorrow to win? No, it's hard to say because a lot of us dictated on, on the weather. Um, you know, if, obviously, if it blows and it's real swirly like it was um, a couple days ago on the back nine, then it's going to get tough. But uh, if it stays calm like this, you know, the guys are going to have to make a lot of birdies in order to, to, to win this tournament. Waite made his birdie at 17 and then had another great opportunity at the par 5 18. This putt for birdie is to get him to 16 under and sole possession of the lead. Oh, goodness. Goodness. Wow, that's a disappointing way to finish. That will leave a bad taste in his mouth knowing that he could have had the lead by himself, especially when every stroke counts competing against Tiger Woods. We'll be back with the final round of the 2000 Bell Canadian Open, a PGA Tour Classic. Daybreak in Oakville, Ontario, outside of Toronto, and the start of another week on the PGA Tour at the Glen Abbey Golf Club. 
But this is not just any week. This week, Tiger Woods goes for his ninth win of the year and the Triple Crown, the U.S., British, and Canadian Opens all in one year. It's only been done once before by Lee Trevino in 1971, and Woods has delighted the fans with his shot making. They've turned out in record numbers to see if Tiger can put his name in the record book once again. Grant Waite shares the lead heading into the final round. A runner-up last week, the New Zealander is looking for his second career victory. But he's in the unenviable position of trying to do it against the best player in the world. Paired together for the first time, the two went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It wasn't for his. Grant Waite for birdie at the second. He's the first to draw blood and takes the outright lead at 16 under par. Both players made birdie at the third, Tigers second at the par four fourth. There's no quit in this man. He made that to draw even with weight at 16 under. Woods made birdie at six to take the lead at 18 under. Grant second at the par four ninth, 184 yards with a six iron. He stuck it in there close. A birdie ties Woods at 18 under at the turn. Sergio Garcia at 15 for birdie, the 15th, the par three, playing 150 yards today. Oh, yeah. So Sergio Garcia will move to 14 under, four off the lead, and four under on his round today. Stephen Ames, who started the final round one shot shy of the leaders, has struggled. Three over through 12. But he's got an eagle putt here at 13 to try and turn things around. Nine under 63 for Ames yesterday. Whoa. Goodness. Struggle a bit today. Is uh, now at 11 under. And this was JL Lewis, who was uh, playing with uh, Stephen Ames. Is this a long one for Eagle? So JL Lewis at 12 under after the bogey at the par 3 12th and Ames currently at uh, 11 under. Neither player was able to make birdie nor were they able to mount a charge. Both our leaders started the back with three pars as we move ahead to the par 5 13th Tigers third. A tap in birdie moves him into the lead at 19 under. This man has all the tools. It's almost like you take all the great traits of all the great players and put them into one person, and then you get Tiger Woods. I can't think of any other players that was done what he's done, you know, in the few years he's been a professional golfer. And, uh, you know, if he's going at this rate, he's going to be uh, the best, if not very close to Jack's records. I have never seen a better player, at least in my opinion, play the game. So to me, he's the actual greatest player that's ever played the game. It's like taking Jack Nicholson's brain and course management, Seve's short game and, uh, you know, Daly's length and putting them all together and Hogan's work ethic, you know, and, and there you have it. Another young phenom, El Nino, Sergio Garcia's five under on his round today and putting to get the 16 under at 17. He would make par at 18 to finish in third place at 15 under. Quickly over to the 13th, Grant wait for birdie. That temporarily gives him the lead. Well, he has enjoyed this 13th hole. Has he, has he not? Has he? Huh? Five under is what he's played this 13th hole. And Grant wait for the moment, the leader by one. That's got to put a spring in your step right there, yeah, huh, Chip, when you make that one? It, you know a, the other guy's got a slam dunk? It's a testament to how well he hits it when you can birdie that hole. And he hit the green, you know, so many times, so in two. Uh, now Tiger Woods with this little short birdie putt. This to keep pace with Grant. And tell you what, guys, it's pretty fun being down here on the ground watching this. I mean, right with it. Well, you know, Billy, the, the thing is, and I know Bruce and Chip, Charlie, you've, you've all played professional golf for years and years, but you're golf fans too. And what this has meant, the, the crowds, uh, this tournament sold out in 24 hours after it was announced he's coming. I mean, you can get a thrill out of this, can't you? Oh, I can, I can get a big thrill out of this. I mean, this to watch this man play and to watch 
Grant play as well as he is right now. I mean, this is really special. This to get in the tie for the lead with Grant Wade. So both of these players birdie the par five thirteenth. We talked to Tiger Woods. Is he the same person on and off the course? You know, it's I'm the same person. That's that's the thing. It, you know, I'm not two different people on and off the golf course. I'm, I'm whatever you see is who I am. But what you what the people the, the people in the general public what they see is a person competing mm -hmm. and and wanting to do well. And for me to do well, I. And, and compete in my sport, what I tend to do is I tend to really focus on what I need to do. And for some reason, it comes across differently. Now, some people like uh, Trevino loves to talk, and that's his way of, of getting focused. Um, you know, Hogan never talked to anybody. Uh, there are certain guys, and MJ talk trash all the time. <laughs> now, that's what he liked to do. And then for me, I just, I go out there, I do my business, and I do it the best I possibly can. Tied atop the leaderboard, these two are pulling away from the field, but neither can shake the other. Tiger Woods with his second shot here on 14. That's from 169 yards, a little bit of an uphill lie. This in eight, Aaron. And this is by far his best shot of the week on this hole. Oh, yes. <laughs> That'll work. Well, Charlie. We just heard what Tiger said about playing with him. Is it noisy out there? And Grant seems to be handling it pretty well. It is very noisy and very busy out here, and it doesn't seem to be phasing Grant at all. He's holding up just fine. Bruce is kind of like watching one of those old boxing matches with a couple of big heavyweights standing there just going toe to toe and slugging each other out. No back off in either one of these guys. Two beautiful golf swings, too, Charlie. That's a nine iron for Grant just inside 150 yards and this also looks very good in the air. It is Charlie. Below the hole. Back and forth these two have played brilliantly in the final pairing. We will return with more from the 2000 Bell Canadian Open a PGA Tour Classic. In 1994 Nick Price entered the Bell Canadian Open as the tour's top player with four victories including two majors. Price was within striking distance to earn his fifth title of the season. At the par 5, 16th, Price pured a one iron. I've hit some significant shots in my career, but that one certainly ranks in the top three or four because uh, it, I couldn't have done any better other than holding it at that stage. Price made eagle at 16 and went on to collect his second Bell Canadian Open championship. Welcome back here to Glen Abbey. Time now to look at our leaderboard in the final round of this Bell Canadian Open. Tiger Woods and Grant Waite both four under on their rounds today and share the lead at 19 under. Neither player has made a bogey so far today, both coming off birdies at the par 5 13th. Right where you want it, underneath the hole, very straight. Uh, this is great stuff. This Isn't is great absolutely stuff? great. Grant Waite. Now at 20 under. And these are the only two guys that can win the championship right now. These are the only two guys left. A little match play situation. Now we're just, we're just going to see if Tiger can answer. Coming a little bit across the slope right here. Might move a little bit to Tiger's left. This to go back to 20 under and in a tie with Grant. Just keeps getting better folks and these players will move to the final four holes. 14 holes and a combined 10 birdies later. Neither player has flinched after both made par at the par 3 15th. Here's Tiger's second at the par 5 16. Right now I think you're watching the world's greatest player and this might be the the world's greatest caddy too. I wouldn't have the guts to pull seven iron from here. Came out high and soft a little right. I don't know if this has enough go to get there. Came up just a little bit short and right. Just didn't get a good clean hit on it with all that grass right directly behind the ball. After having to lay up with his second, waits third at the par five. 
94 yards, full L wedge. Got to get up a bit. Now it's underneath the hole, Charlie, so not in too bad a position. It was assumed that Waite would be the first to blink, but he has had an answer for every shot by Tiger. Now Woods with a golden opportunity to take the lead. This has got some stuff. In fact, a little too much stuff. Not what we have come to expect from the world's number one player. Grant Wade getting set for his birdie and the lead. Not much to this putt, Roger. Just up the hill, slight right to left break, just outside the right edge. Well, this could take advantage here if he could make this, Charlie. No. If that had dropped, that could have made things interesting for Woods. But a tap in par for Waite, and he remains at 20 under. Now Woods from 15 feet for the lead. Right now, guys, I can tell you it's starting to get a little dark out here. And you know, I think the players might have a little difficulty picking up the line on the greens. As you mentioned, Bill, this is going to move from right to left. Probably about a cup. Look out. Got it. Tiger Woods has taken the lead in the final round of this Bell Canadian Open with birdie at the par 5 16th. Well, you think he didn't know this one was in, folks? There was no question about it. <laughs> We asked Canadians why Tiger was their favorite golfer. I only know the name because uh, you can find him in some commercials. Oof, he's hot. <laughs> he's very active and handsome. <laughs> so I like him. Because he's awesome. He knows what he's doing. He's worked hard. He's a great golfer. Because he's the name I always hear in the media. <laughs> My favorite was Mr. Nick Hudson. And he lived Nick Hudson. He lives in Miami, but now he's a young man and he's going ahead of everybody, Mr. Tiger Good. More from the final round of the 2000 Bell Canadian Open on PGA Tour Classic. It was a two-man race in 98, and Billy Andre had a difficult decision to make at 18. So I had like three different strategies on how to, how to figure this hole out. Um, strategy one was to obviously to go for it, strategy two was to lay up, or strategy three was to hit it in the water. So I, <laughs> I proceeded to hit it in the water. I said to myself, you know, I'm going to win this golf tournament, so if I'm going to win this golf tournament, I obviously got to make this putt. Andre's par save got him into a playoff, which he won over Bob Friend. After 16 holes, Woods jumped ahead of Waite by a shot. 21 under for the tournament, six under for the round. Tiger has set 27 PGA Tour scoring records, and he's looking to win his ninth of the season. How about this? Most wins in a calendar year. Arnold Palmer with eight and 60. Johnny Miller eight since 1955, so going for his ninth. So take this drive up the right hand side and this might be a little wide right here. Yeah, that's in the right rough. Looks like a tough lie there too. Behind a tree over there maybe. Well, he was challenged by the 17th the other day when he that's hit right. a fairway bunker. Hit the cart path. And hit and, well, he, and remember the day before yeah. he was very fortunate. He hit it way right now, yeah. right of the trees. Now Grant Waite. Grant Waite striped it right down the middle of the 17th fairway yesterday and route to his birdie. So he's got to feel good sitting up here with his opponent in the right rough. Grant Waite's played the par fours and nine under this week. Woods six under. Yeah. 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 Man on the tee said straight. Beautiful. Grant Waite 
McLean from the left side of the 17th fairway. One shot behind Tiger Woods. 154 yards, nine iron. Just a light rain starting to fall here at Glen Abbey. And Wade using some body motion trying to get it to turn. Good Smart safe play. play though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Tiger Woods. Well, Roger, this is as bad a lie as I've seen. I mean, this ball is sitting so far down in the rough, and Tiger with 138 yards has to be careful where he leaves this if he can't put it on the green. Well, it looks like he's trying to get in that left bunker up there. And that's not a bad play. That's a pretty good leave. He's just playing for, a, for an opportunity at a third shot. That's a golf ball of Tiger Woods in the greenside bunker at 17, his third. A delicate little bunker shot slopes away from him from the fringe to the hole. Look at that oh, speed. what a marvelous golf shot. Yeah. It's about as good as it gets there, Chip. Yeah, especially with that, with that sand getting wet. Wait with this opportunity to tie Woods for the lead. Good speed, but not enough borrow. A light rain continues to fall, but it hasn't dampened the spirits of these two foes or the Canadian fans as they are witnessing golf at its finest. Waite will now put his mind on the par 5 18th. An eagle could be needed. Well, that's pretty tough to give Tiger Woods a one shot lead to going down oh, the yeah. last, isn't it? Well, when he's he's that played, played, played the 18th bunker shot there. Yeah. Uh, that was a, a rookie would have a hard time hitting that one, huh? Well, he needs this putt for his par to maintain that one shot lead going to 18, the par five. Boy, he's really been steady. Guys, this is to keep that one shot lead going to 18. Yeah, some Pretty four. impressive four there, boys. Tiger Woods by one as they go to the 18th par five. And there have been some impressive moments. This is the third for Billy Mayfair at 18 on Friday. Well, that's one of 16 Eagles that we saw the first three days. Billy's pretty happy. Missed the cut, unfortunately, but. Now, this was the second by Tiger on Friday. This has been the second easiest hole this week. That's where he hit that sand wedge. That's there. right. That was a 118 yard sand wedge where he went birdie eagle, birdie eagle on Friday. And then on Saturday, Grant Waite, his third. Nearly an eagle, but that would get him a, but a birdie. Miss. But unfortunately, that was a miss. Missed that short putt. To, Jail to, Lewis. Yeah, Jail Lewis. This for eagle. It would all come down to this: the par 5 18. Canadian fans came out in record numbers this week, and they were now all surrounding the pivotal hole that would decide the championship. Could Tiger Woods hang on and capture golf's triple crown? Or would Grant Waite perform some miracle to unseat him? Woods had the honors. This is a huge tee shot right here for Tiger if he could put it in the, put it in the fairway. I mean, how the people do that? You know, I have no idea. Quiet, please. Come on, quiet, thanks. How do you, first of all, how do you stop well, it when you know, you know he's, he's going to hit it so hard and that, he get to the top of mm -hmm. his backswing then? And he's done it, it several times this week, Chad. Well, you you wonder how many times it does come about as far as for him oh. or against him or are they mostly pulling against the other fella? I, and that's, yeah, that's seems so ridiculous. Rare. It's pretty good. Three check swings yeah, in a week. That's right, Billy. And he 
needs to turn down just a little bit. He's down bunker. bunker. No, bunker. You know, I guess he deals with so many distractions. That's one of the things that amazes me about him, his ability to handle those distractions. Uh, Grant Waite. Grant Waite hasn't been in the winner's circle, but one time on the PGA Tour, that was a 1993 Kemper Open. I think this is the biggest golf shot he's had to hit since then. We'll turn from right to left, Charlie, would be perfect. What he likes it, Bruce. Wow. Yeah, he likes it. Wait was second last week at the Air Canada Championship in Vancouver. There have been two Eagles at the 18th today, and here's the slow motion of uh, Tiger Woods. Uh, watch this upper body rotation in the look restricted hip turn, but look at the. Oops. How do you stop? That's it hard there, to do. Huh? It is unbelievable. Another opportunity to make history, win all three National Opens, the U.S., British, and Canadian in the same year. As I was saying to, to the people at, at the British Open, is that we're completing the Grand Slam at the time. Uh, you know, that would, that's merely a byproduct. Because right now, I'll, I'm focused on winning the golf tournament. If I win the golf tournament, obviously I complete the slam. So you gotta take care of one thing before another thing can happen. And it's the same here. In order to win, I guess, a so-called triple crown, you, you got to win the golf tournament here first, and that's kind of how I approach it. How will he approach this shot? 213 yards from a fairway bunker, carry over water to a back pin. By far, I think it's one of the greatest shots I've ever seen. The shot when we return to the 2000 Canadian Open. Welcome back to the conclusion of the 2000 Bell Canadian Open, a PGA Tour classic. At the 18th, Grant Wade his second here at the par five. 224 yards, Roger, this hole on the right-hand side. Grant trying to take it in left to right, going with a four iron. Uh, big shot here, Billy. And this is right at the center of the green. Uh, beautiful shot. Beautiful golf shot. He has not backed off all day long. That takes courage, doesn't it? Yes, it Trust does. Load at it. Yeah. And you know, it's not a stupid shot, you know, not aiming it at the flag. And I had a, about as good a five iron as I can, about 25 feet left of the hole. So as I was standing to the left of him, watching him getting ready to play, I looked at my caddy and I said, well, I've done my job. Let's see what he can do. Billy, does Tiger have a good lie in the bunker there? Bruce, I took a good look at it. He's got a perfect lie. He's going, right? Oh, absolutely. You know, he's got 213 yards. He's going to have a little visual obstruction with the tree right there. You know, I don't think he can get a good look at the pin, but he's got to play towards the center. Steve Williams there talking about what yardage it is to carry the left side, that first part of the water there by the left front edge of the green. And I tell you what, Bruce, if he pulls this shot off, this is this is going to be in that highlight package of the U.S. Open, British, and uh, PGA. Well, you can see there what Billy's talking about. That flag is, in fact, around behind that last tree. 213, huh, Bill? 213, and I want you to check this one out. Six iron. Oh, goodness. I saw him take a deep breath. That's unusual. <laughs> Boy, that's amazing. Boy, this is some guts right here. Uh-oh. That looked like it might have went right. It this did. is right on line. Oh, what a <laughs> shot. Does it get any better than this, guys? I can't get Just can when you, you think it? you've seen the it all from Tiger Woods. Right. He comes up with How one more the flag? great that. golf shot. Goodness gracious me. I, I thought he missed it. <laughs> it sounded a little bit well, clunky. I, I know you and I, Chipper, thought he'd put it in, put it to the right, but he carried it right at the flag. That is well, something else. Yeah, there. You hit him right there. <laughs> Billy called that one, didn't he? Highlight shot. The rain coming down here in Oakville, Ontario, is Tiger Woods with a one-shot lead over Grant Waite. Make their way up to the green at 18. And Some 
seen. They've seen probably the best golf that's ever been played in Canada this week. What you think, Roger? Some of the best golf that's ever been played in Canada this week. Well, I've seen this event a number of times, but uh, anytime this man gets involved in a golf tournament, you're going to see some and of the look, best golf it's, it's you've ever seen. It's clearing up for him. Look, the sun's coming out. <laughs> Only two eagles so far today here at 18. And keep in mind, Grant Waite has a putt for eagle. He hits 218 yards and he was in a bunker. It was on a little bit of a downhill lie. He couldn't see the flag because of some overhanging trees. It was starting to rain. And when he hit it, the first instinct is, well, he's, he's hit it in the water because it was too far to the right. But he hit it so solid and, I, and he took enough club in his mind uh, to carry the water. And the, it was really a shot that in the, in, the, in the moment that you really needed to rise to, to rise to the occasion. And we all know Tiger can do that. He's done, done it many times. I was, you know, I was a little surprised he went that far to the right, but on the other hand, I wasn't surprised that he, he played a very good shot. Grant Wait, a 25-foot putt for Eagle. He must make this for any hope of getting into a playoff with Woods. Neither of these players have made a bogey today. Waite is five under on his round. Woods is six under. Pretty tough. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. You got the lead. You shoot five under. Well, he's going to shoot at least six under, and he may not win the golf tournament. But it's a hard golf course, too. People don't realize that they're making it look like pitch and putt sometimes, but this is one fine golf course. Leaves Tiger with two from the fringe mm -hmm. to win. It's and Grant Waite just tapped in for his birdie, so that would get him to 21 under. But Bruce, as you said, Tiger has two from the fringe. Tiger time again. Pretty special stuff. Tiger Woods, his ninth victory of the year, the 2000 Bell Canadian Open champion, and the second man to capture the Triple Crown along with Lee Trevino, the U.S., the British, and the Canadian Opens in the same year. He, uh, special player, and you know I'm glad I had a chance to compete against him. Would have been even better if I'd beaten him, but unfortunately, I'm hopefully I'll get another try at that. That was the greatest golf shot I've ever seen in my life. We were, I was laughing because I think they said he hit a six iron and hit it right at the pin. I was saying, yeah, I'd hit a six iron too, but I'd have been laying up over to the left with a six iron. <laughs> Mind boggling. You know, the other kid was on the green 20 feet for eagle. You know, most people would have whipped it left somewhere and he took it right over the pin. And he says it's the greatest shot, but it never hit the green. You know, I laugh at that, but uh, one of the best shots I've ever seen. That one shot I did hit at Canada was was pretty good, but you know what? Well, I always I keep telling everybody I didn't hit the green. I hit it over the green, so it wasn't really that good. Thanks for watching the 2000 Bell Canadian Open, a PGA Tour Classic.